This year, more kids will be diagnosed with autism than cancer and diabetes combined. In that child's lifetime, we're talking $3 million in therapy, drugs, special schooling. But if you live in one of these 18 states that you see right there in orange, you have no insurance for autism. And Anna Bullard sure didn't, she didn't have it either, actually. And she was devastated by that. We're going to talk to Anna in just a minute. Uh, but first, Jay Watson from WXIA has her story. <laughs> my name is Lily. My name is Ava. One, two, three, two. Eight-year-old Ava Bullard is playing with her sisters, a simple act that defies those who said she would never talk. Lily, I can hang down from there. Those who said she wouldn't function in the real world. Who wants to play Mario Kart? Ava was not a typical baby or toddler. You couldn't interact with her. She didn't have that kind of connection. Ava did not play with toys, did not speak, slept two hours a night, could not dress herself. She was in her own world. It's like she looked straight through you. When she would look, you know, she, she would just, it's like you weren't there. Anna Buller took Ava from doctor to doctor for months. One ENT said Ava's just weird. Finally, when Ava was two and a half, a diagnosis of autism, she asked the doctor, What do I do? Where do I go get Ava treatment? Where do I get these specialized services that I read about on the internet? And that's when she, the developmental pediatrician looked at me and said, That's the Cadillac version and you'll never be able to afford it. The doctor told Anna to put Ava in special ed in school, that she would remain there her entire life, and that likely she would never speak. I, I, it was the most heartless, cold thing. First of all, I thought, how do you, you know, how do you know? And, and, and you don't know me because I will do anything. I will sell my house. I will do whatever it takes. Before her diagnosis, insurance covered Ava's speech therapy. But after... They said autism is an excluded coverage. Your child can't get anything. Despite the no's from the doctor and her own insurance, the Bullards pushed forward, giving Ava 40 hours a week of specialized therapy, plus speech and other therapies. They borrowed money from their families, spending more than $45,000 a year. It worked. Ava found her voice. Of the States of America. She came out of herself into her family's world. I came into the door where the therapist had Ava and she spontaneously said, Mama, there aren't words for that. It was just the best moment as a, in my life, really. Well, now Ava's mama is here. Anna is on a personal crusade to change the fact that not every state has insurance for kids for autism. That's mind-boggling to me. I know you just left the Georgia courthouse. We'll get to that in just a second. But tell me about Ava. How's she doing now since she's been able to get help? Ava is a remarkable story that um, could be told by a lot of parents who do get this treatment, who live in these other states. These are 32 other states that have this treatment. Ava um, started off, you know, like, as you can see, she had no words at three and a half, still had not said mom or daddy. Um, and, and right now, Ava is uh, in third grade. She's in a general education class in our public school system, and she's doing really well. She has friends. It's, it's amazing. It's mind-boggling to me that you have to have an autism benefit, that this is not an automatic thing that you get with your insurance. Why is that? I think parents across the nation are asking that question. They're saying, why? This is, this is common sense. You know, uh, why is this a fight? Why do parents have to go up to the Capitol and um, ask for just coverage that is, you know, that is just your basic coverage, not something just, you know, we're just asking for, for fairness. But parents have to go up there and, and just bang on the door of legislators just to be heard. And what happened today when you went and banged on those doors? Did you get anywhere with regard to the state of Georgia? Because there's a lot of other states looking at what you're doing, That's hoping right. that it has a domino effect in a positive way. That's right. This bill started in 2009, and we were put in study committee. And at that time, not many states had passed. So we've spent the, these last years really studying, getting the data we needed. And today, uh, we were at the Capitol. Hundreds of parents showed up. And honestly, mm. it was really hard for me because I had 
moms came up to me and would tell me their story. I had a mom who brought her daughter up there who had been diagnosed two months ago. And she's standing in the Capitol saying, I don't know how to get treatment for her. How am I going to pay for this? And I'm saying, go talk to your legislator. No mom should be told that when their child is diagnosed with, a, with something as serious as autism that can be treated. A mom should not be up at the Capitol. Well, I'll tell you what, I know you're not going to stop um, trying to make a difference. And, and what you're doing is just incredible for kids all around the country.